Hey guys, my name is Angelia and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Black Widow Challenge. We're picking up right where we left off. Um, I'm just having her use the bathroom. She does need to make some food though. Um, because she's pretty darn hungry. So that's probably a good thing to do. Um, let's just serve dinner so I can have... I could do that and keep it. No, no, no. We're, we're going to do the mac and cheese. Um, I don't need to chance her eating it. <laughs> I've, I've really been wanting to do the puffer fish one, but at the same time... I don't want to chance it just yet. And we don't have anyone yet. So it's kind of a problem and she needs to eat. So here we go. Let's just hope she doesn't set the freaking house on fire like my Sims so enjoy doing every time. Nearly every freaking time. Please don't do it. I just built this house. We barely have any money. All right. She did it. I'm proud of her. Look at her go. Heck yeah. You eat your mac and cheese, girl. It's making me really want mac and cheese, even though I just ate, like, a salad. But it's fine. <laughs> Not supposed to with my liver and everything, but it's whatever. It's fine. All right, so she's eating her mac and cheese. I know she's a romantic, but listen, they don't want to talk to me. <laughs> also, so my husband was made his own, like, little Black Widow challenge where he's not following any rules but his own. Um, and he was just laughing as he was at, like, getting victims, essentially. It's like, what have I done to you? But I turned him on to this whole thing um, where you can just kind of message them flirty things and it helps. Why does it not stay over here anymore? Um, In terms of, you know, getting relationships up and all that fun stuff. So he was really enjoying Social Bunny for that reason. He was like, wow, this is so much faster. <laughs> it's like, I know. It was just funny to like hear your significant other cackling over to the side of you because he's doing his own little Black Widow challenge. It was funny. Anyway. Because he's been hearing me talk about it for, like, the past few weeks um, after it won the vote. So, I guess he was just inspired. But I'm happy. I have a husband who actually really likes The Sims. It makes me very thrilled. All right. So, we got a little bit of romance and stuff. I didn't want to go too overboard. But just enough. Just enough to take the little bit of the edge off here. Don't. Okay. Is, is aging off? Why is it not telling me? Okay, I fixed my settings. Um, Adrian was off for whatever freaking reason. There we go. <laughs> Don't know why it was turned off, but that's fine. Oh, I have move objects on, don't I? I have so many things on right now. There we go. Now we're now we're all settled. She's not having any fun. I'm real sorry about it, alright? Maybe maybe we can invite her over. I don't know if she'll come because it's 8 30. I feel like nine o'clock is around the cutoff when they say no. But I guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? Oh, she'll be right over. Okay, cool. Also, I still really appreciate the name of Elphaba. <laughs> a lot. But I'm I'm a bit of a nerd with that. Um, Let's call her over. You can come in my house. You don't have to stand outside. I don't even think the door is locked. But I need to, I need to chit chat and all that fun stuff. I mean, all right. If we can already... Let's just seal the deal. Might as well, right? <laughs> it'll make things a little bit easier, I guess. Plus, it'll get her fun up. So we're going to let them have their, their privacy over there for a, a few minutes here and see, see what happens with them. Okay, I'm going to say that went pretty well. I do want to kind of check to make sure. Does she have a household? She has no children, no spouse. Um, I'm not. Oh, she's homeless. Okay. So yeah, I don't think she has anyone else. I don't even know if she has money. To be fair, but it's fine. Um, I feel like they're doing pretty darn well together. Let's, let's chat about marriage a little bit. Oh, she's tired. Well, listen. Also, how cute are her freaking little shorts? I fell in love with them. I was like, I would totally wear those. I love biker shorts, especially during the summer right now. It's one of my favorite things. Like, I might have to get some more soon. Um, because it's it's almost in the 70s here. We're about to enter into spring um, here in Nevada. Not quite my thing, but... It is what it is. So hobbies. Let's ask about hobbies. Oh, they're cute. Oh, I love this actually. Oh, now I don't want to kill you. But like things have to happen. All right. And I'm real sorry about it. Um, <laughs> this was for sweet nothings. A foodie. Hey, you're my kind of, you're my kind of lady. I'm a foodie. Um, interest. Let's discuss interest. Let's just keep chit-chatting. Oh, oh, okay. 
I could go for a, a massage, to be fair. My shoulders are just constantly killing me. Let's ask to be girlfriend. It's happening, guys. We have found our first one. I know you guys didn't get to vote because I am recording, like, right after the other. But I want to get this ball rolling, so let me know what the next nine. <laughs> Who we should go for. <gasps> yeah, she said yes. Okay. <laughs> this is going really well, actually, to be fair. Also, I'm wearing my freaking my Ed Sheeran concert tee been living in this thing but it's fine oh uh, let's hold hands look at them nah let's not move on the shower let's um let's talk about marriage some more let's get the idea in her head here because we we need that to happen deep thoughts let's have a deep conversation yeah let's tell her a story we're just trying to get the friendship up because we need to get them married because we need money <laughs> that's the main thing um to ask about day let's just keep getting to know her invite to stay the night there you go since you're also very tired you're not allowed a job or anything so we're just kind of stuck here until we figure some stuff out man we have like nothing in this house <laughs> it's so empty you wanna you wanna hang out yeah perfect all right Oh. Actually, you no, know, maybe we should, like, pillow fight. I feel like that would be fun. Because they're both kind of tired. Um, and then, you know, they can go to bed. Aww. <laughs> For right now, it's really cute. She, she doesn't know that Nadia has nefarious reasons behind all of this, but it's fine. I'm still coming up with a backstory. For Nadia and, like, her family and things like that, so. But for right now, this is really cute. Let's go to bed, because I'm tired. Heck yeah. Wait, are auto lights not on? Hold on. <laughs> I thought I set these up, and I guess I didn't. I think it was in the other. I have, like, I built this house in a different save, is what I'm trying to say. Um, So I think it was probably on auto lights in that save. Because I didn't know who was going to end up being our sim, and I didn't want to start a save without them just yet, so... Yep, that's what happened. But anyways, I did also start them in the spring, clearly, because um, it is basically spring here. Um, not that I'm happy about it, because I'm going to be complaining until it's like November again. <laughs> I don't do well with heat at all. All right, she's awake. She's also kind of stinky and hungry, so go take a shower. How about you make breakfast for your new girlfriend? That sounds fun. We can serve breakfast. Let's do some eggs and toast. I think that would be a nice gesture, you know, for things. Also, I'm really loving this, like, kind of green and yellow color palette on her. Um, which is funny because I did not plan it this way, actually. Now that I'm looking, because, like, I did green and yellow in here, and I did a green kitchen. I did not plan that that way, and I'm actually really happy with myself. <laughs> I just saw this couch. I was like, you know, what? I never use this color variant. Let's go with, like, a nice spring feel and... Here we are. My husband actually just got sure about this color, but not that anyone cares about that. But I'm making you breakfast. Well, I guess she didn't want my eggs and toast. And now she's bored again. This is going great for us. <laughs> just make your dang eggs. Please, and just don't set the house on fire. That's, that's all I can ask from you right now. Eat your freaking eggs. This is not going swimmingly for us just yet. All right, so it's a bit of a gloomy day here in freaking Newcrest. So I'm gonna go dig some rocks <laughs> because why not, right? We need we need to get some monies here. Um, so might as well take advantage of things that we have around us um, until we're able to get someone moved in. I'm not gonna worry too much about strawberries. I will go over here, get this rock. A little diggy spot. What is this one? A rose bush. I mean, I'll harvest that. Actually, let's just click um, harvest roses. Otherwise, it's gonna like be like, oh, there's no more plants in the area. Anyway, oh my gosh, she is just constantly bored. She's never happy. <laughs> She's gonna be a pain in the butt. I can already tell. Yes, get your frog. Let's let's get some stuff. We need some money for the moment. Until we convince Alphaba to marry us and love us forever, or as long as it, it lasts. 
Probably not too long. But for right now, it's good. I think they're cute. Um, <laughs> just may not work out in the long term. You know, I need to also figure out, like, how we're going to do it. <laughs> like, what, what method are we going to do at the moment? I'm not entirely sure. Um, who can I chit chat with? I don't know who you are. Who are you? Nope. For some reason, I was hoping Don Lothario would be out because I always... <laughs> I feel like I always make Don Lothario like a priority in these types of challenges. Um, but like, to be fair, <laughs> I feel like it's warranted. Um, so we are just going to multi-select stuff and sell it. Yep, how much is this worth for me now? I'll just sell them. I don't need those. She She's being rude anyway, so what do we need it for? We don't is, is the answer to that. Maybe we should um, invite her back over. <laughs> I'd like to hang out. I know you just left my house, but like... Oh, you're just rude. Is what you are. How come I never got the welcome wagon? This is like the one rare time that I would like for it to be here. And it's not. And I don't fully understand it. Let's go... <laughs> um, Give residence keys. I feel like that's appropriate at this point. You know, we're taking it a little bit fast, but it's fine. All right, so we're, we're back on this. <laughs> her needs are good. Let's offer her a rose. Let's do all the things. I love that they have full romance and hardly any friendship. It's not, it's not ideal, but it's fine. Maybe they can, like, stargaze or what time of the cloud gaze. Do all that fun stuff. Let's have a deep conversation. I think she's off. Aw. Aw, she liked it. This is going well. See, this is how you're supposed to react, Simeon. Not being rude. But he's rude, so I guess it doesn't matter. Um, Where even is that anymore? Let's talk about the cloudy weather, I guess. Since I can't seem to find out where cloud gazing is. <laughs> Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. I'm not entirely sure. It's under interests, maybe? Okay, so it's under deep thoughts. Um, for whatever freaking reason. So let's maybe go cloud gaze for a little bit. How about that? Also, I found out she's apparently mean. Which I guess that kind of works out in our favor. In regards to everything else we have to do in this challenge. So yeah, maybe this will work out. Let's get some friendship up here. Have that going for us. Oh, this guy's calling me, huh? I mean, okay. <laughs> Why not? It might help. It might help a little bit. You never know what might happen. I don't even see this guy. Just yet, but I guess he's staying over? That's a child. I don't know where he is, but um, I guess we're gonna have a house guest. <laughs> I'm not too upset about it. I think it's kind of funny, actually. Especially because, like, this might make it easier um, for the dinner party stuff. And that whole thing. <sighs> but they're still cloud gazing, doing their own thing right now. My mom is texting me about <laughs> a pineapple drink. <laughs> I was like, what? Uh. Oh, he has arrived. He's here now. Guess he's chilling. Let's have a deep conversation. Let's maybe see if we can propose marriage now. I'm hoping we can. Um, actually, just in case, let's do some social bunnying. Because <laughs> it just makes life... Well, thank you. I'm glad you think that Nadia has it all figured out. I agree. <laughs> I don't know if he necessarily actually agrees, but it's fine. Let's just... I don't trust it. I feel like I'm going to get denied. There we go. Look at them with a high friendship. It's gonna go great, guys. It's happening. Part two. And we're doing it. We're we're on to person number one, and I'm ready. Please don't say no. She said yes! Yes, we did it. <laughs> Heck yes. Look at us. All right. We're getting married. Okay, now I need to refresh my memory on the rules. Oh, um, no, <laughs> no, she is not loyal. I can't, with good conscience, I cannot add her to be loyal. That is not at all what this challenge is about. 
<laughs> um, okay. Let me just reread the rules about married single, blah, blah, blah. Da, 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 da. We can't leave the lot, obviously. Um, meet us and build a relationship until you can get married. All marriage should have a formal party. It's not a requirement, just as a realism. So they could technically elope if I wanted them to. Um, and have a dinner party to show that you're the perfect wife. So that's after they're married. I might just have them elope in the next part. Um, because she doesn't really have a lot of money or anything like that, which is highly inconvenient. Um, although I do think I have actually... Okay, no, we're not gonna we're not gonna push it too far in this episode. <laughs> Let me know if they should get if they should elope in the next episode because I do have an outfit already for her, I believe. Um, I think I already have like a wedding outfit done. Um, yeah, see, they can elope. Am I okay? Well, she's leaving anyways. Well, see you later. Hi. Um, I guess I'll welcome him. Even though you kind of ditched me earlier, but it's fine. I'll say hi to you at least. I'll be nice. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's maybe flirt with him a little bit and get that ball rolling. We don't want to do it too much. He liked it. Again, we don't want to go too far because we are we do need to get married soon. Um, but, you know we can chit chat a little bit. Everything that's popping up is for the freaking wedding. I might just elope just to get it to go away. <laughs> Let's ask about his day. Also, we need to, like, practice magic. I need to practice charisma. There's, like, so much we need to do. Um, I already knew he was single. Oh, we got a romance bar already. Anyways, we're gonna practice all types of magic. Definitely practical magic, because, like, cleaning and stuff like that would be so much easier. <sighs> but I feel like it's going pretty well now. Now that we've got the ball rolling and, like... You know, we're not... I don't know what that means for me. I have not really paid any attention, I'm gonna be honest. Look at her practicing her magic. She's getting the spellcaster thing down. She has a fiancé. She has another one lined up. We're going... We're, it's happening. Oh, should we go? We should totally go. Okay, I'll come. We might as well, right? We might as well have fun in the meantime. It's not, it says, like, we can't ever leave the lot. There's no rules about that, so... Might as well have a good time. I'm excited. <laughs> I again, I love doing challenges. Um, it's kind of what made this entire channel. We started with the um, Four Immortal Sisters challenge. Um, so I kind of I love this sort of thing. This makes me very happy. Also, I love that hair. I love that my Sims keep spawning with it. We just have to light fireworks. I mean, okay, well, where are the fireworks? Can I just go and light them? Anya does not own this item. Well, great. <laughs> what I might do is we might go ahead and leave this part right here with them hanging out at the Humor and Hijinks Festival and all that fun stuff. They are engaged. We will be having a wedding probably in the next part. It'll probably, again, be an elopement just because we don't have a ton of money right now. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this part. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!